Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create gutter soffit and fascia. Let's get started. So to start, go to roof and under roof, there's a drop down menu. And here you could add in soffit, fascia and gutter. First, we're going to start adding fascia first. And what I know is that the thickness of the roof is 300. And if we add a fascia right now and click on this edge, AutoCAD has default fascia. And what we could do is we could create our own. And as, cause as you can see, it's not all the way down. So to create your own profile you will you will need to uh, click on file and then go to new and then family look for metric profile it's around below here and click open and what you have to do is click line and then we need to create 400 25 400 and then close it off you will need to save this first so let's save this so this will be fascia and then save and then load to the project once you load it go to 3d again and click on this and here you could click edit type and it will appear now on this so once you click that click apply it will be created there the next time that you click on phasia it will automatically be added and the profile that you created so now I'm just adding fascia all around the edge. And then we could add in the soffits. So here we're going to go back to architecture, roof, drop down, and then click soffits. We're going to add it on the roof. So we need to go to roof, plan, and then click on rectangle. you can even edit the thickness so let's put this one 120 and you could change the materials right here click apply and then let's add in our soffit so we could pick our lines like that and we're just picking around the roof and as you remember this is our fascia so we selected everything and click finish and we just need to trim this part and it will be below here next thing we're gonna click on is we're gonna create a gutter so similar to af aphasia we have ready-made gutters that um, is existing already in our Revit but it's better to create your own so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go back and open profile family so look for metric profile again click open and then once you're you open it click line and create your own so here I'm gonna put to uh, 250 
the thickness will be around 25 and then here I'm just creating my own design so here not just 20 but around 150 and then click on the line again we're gonna make it inclined like that and then click on this so that we have consistent 25 thickness then we could just expand this a little and do the offset again and then we just need to trim afterwards so before we trim I'm just gonna add the one at the top and then TR to trim and extend and once you're done save it again and load to the project after that go to your 3d you can select this edit type and go to profile and you can see your gutter you can change your materials as well click apply and then ok and as you can see you can see that your profile is appearing here all you need to do is go to architecture again and click on gutter and click on the edge like that so next we're gonna create our downspout click on elevation west and here go to architecture drop down component and model in place let's use a generic model press ok and click on sweep and sketch path we need to pick a plane so press OK and choose this wall after choosing that wall now we need to click on the line and we're gonna create a line like this for now and then after that click this radius arc create a small arc like so press escape click on this arc and pull it like so so that we could create an incline here or a slanted line G give it a, a gap so that we could create another arc like that and then after this just click on line We're going to pull this one up to here and choose arc again. And then another line. After this, press finish. And then we need to go to 3D. So click 3D and then edit profile if this is grayed out select profile and then click select profile and then click edit profile after that you will have this and this is where you're gonna create the rectangle let's create it this one for now so i want it to be around 80 and then 
for the thickness around 60 will be fine and then we need to add this one in the middle so I'm gonna select everything and then click move pick it up on the midpoint and then put it on the node once everything is done click on finish and then finish before you click finish again what I want you to do is select your materials so once for example you selected your material so I'm gonna choose this for now go back to west elevation oh sorry go back to south elevation and then here I want you to move it using your arrow key move it in place like that go back to west elevation make sure that this is around this side so it looks good and then click finish and you will have your downspout created like that thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below